Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to be attempting to make some 50-50s on the SC. I picked up another set of these for relatively cheap and because I don't want to ruin my like super nice set just in case I mess up. But we are going to be attempting to make 50-50s out of these tail lights. I've seen a couple of videos, but I thought I'd make one as well. Uh, I'm going to link down below the video I got my inspiration from. But yeah, today we're going to be doing this. I got the other one in the garage. So let's get started. Once you have your taillights off the car, or if you have an extra set like I do, you want to take off out all of the bowls. And obviously, because you don't want to put them in the oven or heat gun them or whatever you want to do. So get the, all the bulbs out. And then take off this bolt here, there, there, and one there, and another one here, and get it looking somewhat like this one. And before we get started, this is what you're going to need, not this stuff exactly, but just black silicone and some blue tape, and then an oven. Got the harness and bolts out, next up you're going to want to take all these little rubber things off. I, I guess these are to allow like air to get in so they don't get pressurized or maybe to allow water to get out. There's three of them though. Just twist them and they come off. Then after that, I got all the rubber things off of this one. You want to tape up all the holes. I'm not sure why, but I saw the guy do it in the last video or in the other video I'm watching. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. You good? So then you want to set your oven to 220 degrees, hit start, wait for it to preheat, which I already had it preheating so it should already be good. Let's go ahead and open up the oven, get a feel, pretty warm in there. You want to cover up the like grill part or the like skinny part with tin foil so that you don't like burn lines into the tail. Then you just want to go ahead and throw her in. Have to pop it. <laughs> Everything taped up as you can see, all the bolts up. Then you want to go ahead and throw it in. Try not to have it touching the side, that would not be ideal. Have it placed in there nicely. Kind of a tight squeeze. Make sure the back's not touching. Move it a little bit forward. Alright. Then you want to set the timer for like five to six minutes. Go ahead and hit the thing. That's gonna take a break. Is that five minutes? Or is that five it's seconds? Five seconds. <laughs> nah, it's five minutes. Bro. <laughs> I don't think so. Go ahead and set it for five minutes. Five minutes is up. Tail light is looking crispy. Firm grasp. Do not want to drop. Then, firstly, you are going to want to take off the top rubber piece right here. See if it will come off. Firmly grasp it. Nice and warm. Let me switch the grasp up. There you go. Put her to the side. And then you want to throw it back into the oven on the same temp for like two or three more minutes. There you go. Give it a quick cook time. Do it for three minutes. There you go. After that, 
You want to bob her out again? Shit it. Turn it off. I can slide this out, make it a little easier. Set her down. Throw the oven back in. Switch to the gripper. Oh. The gripper gloves. Then you want to get either a wedge or a dang knife and start hitting the common dice up of the rubber in here. Like so. Pretty, oh, that one's kind of tight right there. Oh, yes. Just go past that for now. Get the excess off. Start up here too. There you go. There it is. Get all the rubber off. Or the, I guess, silicone off. Not off, but just open it up. Try not to crack the housing because then you'll have water getting in. So just take it easy. If it gets too hard, put it back in the oven. There you go. Now let's see if we can open up the tap. It's getting there. Might have to throw it back in for a minute. There we go. Pretty loose. Getting there. I'm gonna throw it back in for like another two minutes and see what that does with this. Cause it's kind of getting hard. Put it in for like three more minutes. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Make sure it's still on 220. Cause you don't want to be cooking till like. Three minutes, and we'll be back in three minutes. All right, now it's nice and toasty again. See if we can cut a little more. You kind of have to, yeah, there we go. Pop that up a little bit, because it's like a tab right there. Keep going around. There we go. Give it a little bit of flex. Turn it around. That's picking up nicely. Oh, this tab is still on. It came back on. Damn, this stuff is tight on there. Been on every 20 years. Hold on. It's tight. It is tight on there. Okay, we got a little movement, we got a little movement. Try to get the wedge in there. 
maybe. God dang. God damn, bro. Alright. I might have to throw it back in the oven for another minute or two. It ain't coming off. Maybe I'll cut a little more and then throw it back in. Get a little more dice up. This part's like, I feel like definitely good. Maybe not, actually. Because you can't really cut right here because it's covered. So you just gotta get the top nice and cut. And then it should be ready to go, but it ain't. Give one more slice and then I'll try to peel it again. Get all this stuff out of here. Kind of a must. Oh yeah. Buttery. Buttery smooth. There we go. Tell it, man. What were you? Trying to peel it apart before it gets too cold. We'll try it now. Try to quick peel off. <gasps> Put the wedge in there, maybe. This side's coming off, so maybe we'll try to get this side. But you gotta have like massive grippers to get this, bro. God damn. God damn. Fuck it, I'm hitting it with the reheat. Quick reheat. Two very boring minutes later. Alright ladies and gents, this is where we were at. Now, just a fair warning, this was ass to get out. This was a pain to get out. And then so was this, which we kind of cracked it, but it should be alright. Basically, this sits inside of there. And this sits on oh, this sits on top and holds it like so. So I had to get a heat gun so this wouldn't crack anymore. Grab it with pliers and then pull it up. And then this has some glue like all around the side. So resorted to heat and then kind of like wiggled it out to make sure they didn't crack at all, which this didn't crack at all. This was easy to pop out. One clip, just push it with a screwdriver and then fold it out. And now I'm trying to figure out how to get these two out, which it looks like it's the same. Clip, clip. Like pressure point clip and just pop these two out. This one came out easy. It's basically literally just to try to do it with one hand. Push forward and then pull. Just like that. Push forward on the thing and then push down. And then it pops out. Now with all these out, we're going to apply heat around this whole entire thing and around this whole entire, or at least where there's glue on here. Now before we put that in, I'm actually gonna hit it with the glass clean. Just so there's no fingerprints or nothing in here. Just like a tiny bit more. You see it's like right on the lip.
Oh yeah, just push it down everywhere. Make sure we're nice and flush. Probably push down in the middle portions, like here, along this gray line, so that you don't crack or push through one of the other clear housings. All right, ladies and gents, we basically got it fully back together. This is kind of just in place, but instead of putting this in the common, instead of putting this in the oven, I'm just gonna be heating the outside edges along here and then pushing it back into place. You can see it's like, this is without any heat pretty much. It's basically like in place, but some of the glue, like you can see, I can't really push on it too much. So we're gonna have to get heat it up and then just push her down to get it like fully in place. Putting the screws back in to like hold it down, it's honestly helping a lot. Got the screws up top. I just put the three up top, I didn't put the harness screw in. Just make sure they're nice and tight and then we're in the right spot. That's where we're looking, oh, get that off there. This is what we're looking like. Once you get this where you want it, with the screws in, I'm sure you don't even have to put the screws in, but I just did. Get black silicone. This is what we had lying around. Honestly, we found it at Lowe's. There was no small bottles. Along this seal right here. I'll show up close up once I get it. Like so. Two passes along the whole bottom. And then also before the stuff dries, you want to make sure you get this back on. Looks pretty money to me. Looks pretty money to me. Here we have it. On the vehicle. Compared to the OG. I think it looks way better, honestly. I still need to get the proper bulbs. Because it's like the brake lights are like white. But I think it looks pretty money. Got both of the tails on. I ended up getting the bulbs I needed to run the red like brake lights, obviously, these two down here. And then the orange, like amber like your bulb. If you guys need those, hit me up in the comments. I'll be able to share the info. And yes, if you're wondering, the SC is on stands right now. But we got something planned that I don't really have any set of wheels right now to run. <laughs> so we're waiting for a set of wheels for the moment. We are on stands. But this is like, I made the 50-50s probably at one and a half, two weeks ago. So they've been on the car, they've ran, they don't leak now. Like I was saying before, you gotta be sealing it all the way around or it will leak, because mine ended up leaking. Like I was saying, got some big things planned, so make sure you guys stay tuned. I'll do a whole update video again probably once I get the new, you know, what's not on a car, once they get on. But once again, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll catch you in the next one.